Hey, hey drone here. What's going on? TEF360 drone, 20 mile an hour wind. We're not flying it. I'll do basic startup. How to get set up, uh, what you need to do from the get go. So, what you'll need to do is one, take this battery here, charge it up. On the stock charger, you're connecting to this uh, balance lead, and the red lights will go off on the stock charger. You could then press this to make sure that you have blue lights. Once you have that done, you are going to want to go over to your controller. And then once you have your controller, you'll pop open your antennas. You have a connection there to charge. Charge this up. Once that's fully charged, then we need to go into our cell phone. And we need to download the app. Um, you'll go into Google uh, Play or your app store on in, on uh, iPhone. And you'll type in T-O-P-E-U-A-V. And you will search that. And I'm sorry. We will go ahead and uh, do a screen recording so you guys can see what I see here. Three, two, one, bam. So once you type in T-O-P-E-U-A-V, -E you'll probably get an advertisement at the top, and then you'll have it here. Where it says Open on Mine, you're going to want to click Download, and then you will have it. And we will stop our screen recording just because uh, we uh, are going to go to the drone now. Now, a lot of people have already ordered this because of how good it looks, and I agree. It looks amazing. I can't wait to get it outside. Maybe it can fly in 20-mile-an-hour wind, but I want to give it a fair shake. Sunday looks like low wind, so Sunday we're probably going to get this out. Um, the next thing that we need to do is uh, let's unfold our arms. Pop. Front ones pop straight out. Back ones, you just want to rotate, rotate, and then pop one hinge pop one hinge that's that very simple to do and our battery again a lot of guys are already ordering this because it looks good um asking about battery anybody recognize that connection there the connection is the same as that connection it's an xt30 connection um although i wouldn't suggest it but if you had to have extra batteries for this and batteries for this were not available from the company you'd be able to use those but you might void your warranty um this is said to fly 25 minutes if it flies 25 minutes that's good for me i'm not going to need another battery uh so let's go ahead and turn this on we are going to double tap this long hold get red lights get a chime good uh and then we are just going to one tap long hold this you hear a beep dances around and you have a power indicator and we should also have uh our uh center light here that links up which is not linking up for some reason maybe i held that too long so what we can then do is push up on both of these sticks and we can hold both these top two. And as you can see, we are, uh, we've got a blinky blinky here. Blinky blinky. Um, and then what we can do is we are bound. That's how you bind the controller to it. Um, I think there's something that I'm doing wrong because I had to do that before. But once you have this here, you're bound. So that's basic binding instructions uh, on the controller too, which is awesome that they had it in there. A lot of companies don't have that. So next we are going to do another screen recording in 3, 2, 1. We are going to connect to this by going into settings, by going into Wi-Fi. And then we will go to TOPE, T-O-P-E, 4 c E A03. And this will just give you a good look at the app. It'll give you a look at the camera. Um, it'll give you general, again, general startup for this. Then we'll go over to the app, which is right there. Checking device. It says device connected. We can click go fly. And Banzo. Let's look at this camera. This camera is nice. Um, this camera is clean. The colors are really clean on it. I can't wait to get this outside cream soda i love me some cream soda um we've been rearranging the drone room amzo we got a shelving unit to the sky um but let's go ahead and set this down and i uh, give you a look at the app here and as you can see it has green leds ready to go but if you tip this it turns red i think it knows that it's not on stable ground so uh i'm going to show you upper left here that's how you get into your follow me your point of interest your tap to fly your gesture mode uh, we have a speed setting as well, high speed, low speed. Underneath that's your map. 
Um, we could then view whatever photos, videos, or SD card settings. We can go into SD card settings. Um, format, which is nice. I'm liking this. This is looking like a more professional drone um, as opposed to just a toy drone that's thrown out there. Um, and then we can go back. I think that's basically all that I want to show you in the app. Um, let's, let's go ahead and fire motors here. Uh, I want to make sure I'm clear. I'm not clear there. I am clear here. I'm not going to hit myself. I'm not going to hit myself. We're going to split these blades. I like splitting the blades. I always do that on my uh, on my Spark, whether you need to or not. Let's go ahead and stop the recording here. Recording has stopped. And we are just going to hold in. Down and in should fire these motors. Hold in. And it does that, and it should go solid then. Vroom, vroom. So it has a little shaky startup, it stops, then it goes to a smooth startup to vroom, vroom. And then we're ready to take off. Those motors sound good. Let's just go ahead and get you above this so maybe you can hear those motors. This thing's not wobbling around, it seems to be really well balanced. It wobbles on your first initial startup. It, it, it fires the motors, shuts them down, fires the motors again, vroom, vroom, and then we're good. And then all we are going to do here is not do the same exact thing. We're just going to hold down. Do not hold down and in to shut these motors off. You will flip your drone. Um, I've already done it. <laughs> but uh, that's basic startup, guys. Um, I think what we'll do is uh, I wish I... I'm working on cleaning in here. I wish I had a huge floor space. I would lift this off in here. I absolutely would, but we're not going to do that right now because I don't want to have to try to precision land it and possibly ruin the props before even getting it outside. Um, we're going to go back. We're going to screen record again. Three, two, one, and go back. And we're still in the app here. And what I want to show you is not the quality of the camera. We've already done that. It looks good. Uh, up top. Up top here, we have altitude mode, which is right here, I believe. Hmm. Let's see. I think that's altitude mode. If we drop this down, it's it says positioning. It's looking for GPS positioning, but there's no... Uh, there's no... It, it didn't pick up any satellites inside my house. Yes, it did. <laughs> it picked up four of them. I picked up three of them. It's fluctuating. It's still positioning. It's trying to gather the satellites. That's pretty impressive. Um, and then this switch down would be return home. We're going to put that back up. Um, over here, if you flip that down one, that's fixed point circling. And uh, I'm not sure what the bottom one is. Uh, I have done my homework on this, but uh, I still got a lot more reading to do. This is, again, very much like the Alcenma drone, where I'm going to say you're going to need to learn this drone. It is seeming to be... A lot better quality uh, control, but we need to get this in there. Guys, I'm Jay Drone. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Um, we're going to do a pan around again. Again, just to show you the camera. Show you the camera. Show you the camera. And bam. Drones. Cream soda. <laughs> and this does take an SD card. So as clean as this camera is, um, it's going to get cleaner by SD card. Guys, I'm J Drone. If you have not subscribed to this channel, smash the subscribe button. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns down below, definitely get at me. And you can check out my hat cam there, Bamzo. Tanker 4K, very simple setup. Uh, I'll leave a link for the tanker camera down below. I'll leave a link for this down below. And subscribe, subscribe. Share the video too if you want to turn people on to the channel. You want to help the channel grow. Share the links to your social media. I'd greatly appreciate it. Bam. J Drone says, Bam. All right, later.